Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic and in today's video we're going to be looking into the stock data type in Microsoft Excel. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the demo. Alright, so we've got um, Excel open to a blank uh, uh, sheet and what we can do here is um, just fill in the names of some random stocks that you know of. So I'm just doing some of the larger stocks in the world, Microsoft, Apple, MicroStrategy, Tesla, these are all in the US stock exchange. The biggest UK stock is Shell, then maybe a European stock like SAP, and then some big uh, Indian stocks like Reliance and Tata Motors. Right? So we have these stocks, and if you remember previously how we would um, get the price per stock, it was quite complicated. We needed the ticker symbol and then we need to write a long formula like stock history um, with the stock name and then today's date and basically it was the whole thing and it was not very efficient. But with this new stock data type, that all becomes much easier. So how do we use it and how do we um, harness its uh, convenience quickly get to the data we want and build out an intelligent dashboard, right? So basically the first thing we need to do is we can just select all these um, ticker symbols and command T to set up a table. Okay, so you can see we've got our table set up here. We can call it stocks. Very original, I know. Okay, once we've got our table set up, select all the ticker symbols. And this is where we actually invoke the stock data type. We come to our data section and we just hit stocks. Alright. So we must be online sorry. All right, so we should be good to go. Well, let's hit stocks and then it's gonna search and then you can see it's auto detected all of our stock data types. All right. So an important thing to note is we don't have to use only the stock ticker. We could use also the um, just the stock name, the company name. So say for example, I wrote Tesla fully, which is not actually the stock ticker, and then I hit stocks. It would bring up this um, data selector window, where we can go in and choose which stock, which is the exact stock and which exact market you want, because without the ticker, it's hard for the program to automatically detect with finality, which is the stock you want. So we can choose Tesla, and then it, it, uh, it picks up the stock that you want. So similarly, if there was a stock here in this list which the, com the computer couldn't recognize or Excel couldn't recognize, it would automatically uh, pick up that stock in the, into the window with all the like, probable options and you could choose one that you wanted uh, to work with. All right. So, But now that we've got this data here, how do we use uh, this stock function? So one of the simpler ways to use it is just with the shortcut functions that the stock data type enables. Right? So we can do equals b. D O dot and then it gives us a whole bunch of these uh, shortcut functions, right? Suppose I just wanted the basic thing like the price, I just do B4 dot price and I get this whole column with price data, alright? So, similarly, if for something else, I can do B4 dot I wanted maybe market cap, hit enter and we get that data, alright? So you can see obviously that it's come with creating a new column and let's just rename the column. And then you can obviously see at scale how this would drastically improve your efficiency with um, uh, the time savings. Right, so that's basically how the shortcut formulas work for the stock data type. There's one more even simpler way to use this stock data type and that is you would have seen when we click on one of these stocks, we get this small button here, which is a column insert data wizard. We just need to click on that and then we can automatically add in any of these um, given data fields for the selected for the selected stocks. Suppose I want the official name, we can get that. Similarly, I can build out a whole dashboard um, industry. can choose price 
along with the different currencies of the different exchanges it gives us the price shares outstanding so most of the important information that we would need is here volume price earnings ratio we have data we have 52 week high and 52 week low as well and among a whole host of other uh, different uh, data fields all right so this is a brief rundown of the stock data type in excel hopefully you can use this uh, to drastically improve the speed of your workflows when um, uh, dealing with finance and stock type instruments in your excel dashboards so i'm going to be using this function along with our previous video wherein we built a dashboard uh, using our stock market trading history so i'm going to combine these two principles and start building out even more uh, intelligent dashboards in the future so don't forget to like subscribe share comment hit the bell icon and we'll see you guys in the next video